Hello, welcome back to Project Hercules Diaries. The sharp eyed amongst you will notice this is not Project Hercules. This is an old ZZR 1100 that I bought as a cheap smoker just to get up and down to Manchester where I'm working a fair bit these days. And as with all cheap bikes, there's a little bit of maintenance to do. The front fork seals have gone on one side, so I've just replaced the front fork seals on the bike itself. And uh, it's a horrible job. I should have just paid the man to do it. But you know, when you can do something yourself and you don't want to spend a penny, well, you just got to get on and do it, haven't you? So that's took a bit of time, which of course is uh, av uh, not available for um, shed work. However, I had done a few things in the shed, so I'm going to teleport myself over there now so we can have a look. The shed. Oh. God, it's even worse with the hangover teleport. It uh, really makes you dizzy. Right, so what have we been on in the shed? Well, there's a piece here that we started to riff out from a piece of bar, uh, and that is looking end on into the gearbox here, is this carrier. These are the selectors, the selector forks out of a standard gearbox, and there's a pair of them here. And we want to use these selector forks to move backwards and forwards together to move the dog on the spline in the middle of the gear shaft so it either engages with the sprocket on the left or the sprocket on the right and that's how we're going to select the two gears so what we want is that there'll be a central shaft which is nine and a half millimeters in diameter why norton used a nine and a half mil a metric size in the gearbox in those days is kind of probably one of those mysteries that nobody will ever know but they chose nine and a half mil so it's a metric size so there'll be a piece of silver steel uh, that these slide along and and in order to slide them along the silver steel this carrier which will have two holes in will be pressed onto there it'll have a hole in the center there obviously there'll be a, a nicer shape so looking end on you can see just about see there it'll have a, a nice round profile to it so we'll have to round that somehow and think about how we make that um, so that then moves backwards and forwards that will be attached with the grub screw to a second shaft um, that moves with this so this and the two selector forks move left and right sliding on this shaft with a, a, a shaft here that actually moves in and out and that shaft goes all the way through the gearbox that will have the gear change knob on the end of it and that's how we intend to change the gears so we started to rough out that piece we've also got from raw steel choppers the gearbox case back and the end and the gearbox plates which have been laser cut to profile and they're a really nice fit they are too which is great so what we're going to do is decide whether to do three holes top bottom and to the front of the bike or whether to do five holes in a hexagon pattern one two three four five we don't need the sixth hole because there's no engine plate at the back to bolt it to and what we'll do is we'll drill through the um, gearbox itself through the outside case we'll drill into here this will be drilled and tapped something meter like m10 so we can just put nice cap screws in to hold the gearbox to these plates and then we'll put slots in here there are three bolts if you remember in the in the vertical part of the the frame rear of the engine so we'll, we'll bolt these plates bit, uh, between the engine and here so there'll, there'll be slots in so we can we can slide the whole assembly forwards and backwards to tension the belt and that's how that's going to work so that's back with us it also means we can finish the end plates and attach the end plates onto here uh, and finish this part here the last other thing i've been working on over on the south bend a bit further this way a bit further a bit further Further, 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 further. Nearly there. Here we are. Right on the south bend. I've just been uh, continuing to to rough out the uh, the main shaft. So this is down to ten thou over. This is down to ten thou over. I'm then going to make this length absolutely critical and keep measuring from this as the datum. So the other end of it may be slightly over length. That's easy to rectify at the end, and it doesn't actually matter because it will be hanging in free space with a sprocket on the end. So that's what we've been doing on Project Hercules. There's another look at the real engine, which is all sat there patiently waiting for final assembly when mr bob gets back from his holly bobs so as usual thank you for watching more updates will follow